Hey everybody, this is Jake with Myers Flies. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be tying uh, my eggs over easy uh, little pattern here that I came up with uh, a couple years ago. Salmon fishing. I think somebody already has uh, a name, eggs over easy. Uh, there's a fly out there like that, but this is Jake's eggs over easy. So uh, I kind of kind of like that because it's eggs you know and it's just easy so uh, there you go so uh, but anyhow this is just two trout beads here and some eight pound mono and some 140 denier ultra thread from UTC and a Daiichi X510 uh, size 10 steelhead hook here and that is it I mean this is a very simple fly but you know when you're salmon fishing and you're up uh, fishing those tribs at the salmon run uh, and you're you know gonna fish salmon you're gonna fish the, the brown trout uh, you know those salmon are up there spawning those brown trout and the steelhead and the atlantics um, you know wherever you're at and whatever you're fishing there's different fish in there but they come up in and they're eating those eggs and so they are in egg mode uh, they will eat other things in the water of course but they're really keying in on those eggs and so uh, that's why i tie a lot of egg patterns for the salmon run you know new york and uh, pa and stuff so um, we've been on a little kick here lately I've been tying some of those egg patterns for you the crystal meth the uh, estes eggs and uh, you know now we're going to do this little eggs over easy i saw a lot of these things uh and i fish them too i mean i you know i fish these i fish everything i tie uh, i'm not going to sell it to you if it didn't work for me so you know i tried this out and uh, it works and so this is kind of similar there's little beads little trout beads that people will peg on their line uh you know they'll put the line in there's like a little peg like a little toothpick or something that pegs in there that's that's what this is it's a trout bead uh you can get them all different sizes you know of course i put a little material list in there for you uh these are the i think they're eight millimeter beads you get them a little smaller than that so you can tie them smaller um, but uh, but anyhow i uh, wanted to kind of show that to you tell you about fishing it now these are light here these are not weighted so they are they're fairly light so uh, you can either add lead under here uh, or you would just you know put lead split shot on your on your line to get this thing down to the bottom so again you got to check your local regulations that's your responsibility as an angler to make sure that what you're using is uh, legal for your area and the streams and the fish that you're targeting uh, this is the daiichi i love daiichi um, tie a lot of stuff on daiichi hooks they are just tried and true and uh, the people up at angler sport group uh, all those folks up there are great people so uh, you know we uh we we promote them and we we use their products and sell it so this is that daiichi this is the specialty hook this is the um uh, the x510 steelhead hook uh super strong super strong this is a size 10 see it's about the size of my finger now it's not real big you can use i guess you could use bigger ones not really need to uh or smaller but this is a good size uh it's been proven for us so uh, what i'm going to do is put one of those in the uh <clears throat> excuse me in the vise i'm just going to start this thread on and i'm going to be using the same uh, the same bead that i used before in the other video with the estes plus this is just the trout bead that was uh tied on with a polymer knot so you can you can look on youtube and you can you can get that there's a ton of videos out there so i'm not going to do another one on it but that's just a polymer knot i just double that just double that uh, line up this is just eight pound eight pound mono and that's what i'm going to use uh, on this and so i just tie it uh, right here towards the back of the hook leave about a hook gap sticking out of the of the back so you can just kind of gauge that you know pull it back or forth however you however you want it but i usually go about you know about a hook gap sticking out then i just want to cinch this down pretty tight here and then what i like to do too on the on the back of these is go underneath give, give a wrap underneath and then back up over the top and then i'll do that two times underneath 
and then back up over the top. And what that does, it just kind of locks in this bead. And then I'm going to come up just a little bit, right about to the, uh, the hook point there. And then I'm going to do the same right in front of that line and that just kind of locks all this all this in so it does not move now you got your line kind of hanging out here uh, you know just here in the front now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just an individual trout bead that is not on any mono and I'm going to put this put this through here see if I can do that on camera hey there we got it all right, so now that's just that's just sitting up there. You see that? That's just sitting on that on that mono. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down here, okay? And then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to probably do about two wraps, okay? And then I'm going to kind of lock that lock that down, okay? And then just kind of wrap that up. And then I'm going to when I when I wrap this this way, I'm going to pull back. And kind of help lock that in. That's why I like to use this 140 denier on these bigger flies. I like to lock that, lock that into place, and then come up to the front, and then I'm going to double this back. I'm going to pull this, pull this back to me on my side of the hook, and then I'm going to wrap over top of that yet again, and just lock all of that, all of that in. And guys, that's it. That's eggs over easy. I'm going to cut that line off. I'm going to put a double whip finish on here, and that is it. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on this on this fly on the threads, just because you know the teeth on those those big salmon will tear that up. But that is that is it. You can put a little head cement up here. I even rub some back, you know, just back around that thread. You could also use like a UV flow. And put that on there but this is a really really effective fly uh, just looks like eggs you know floating a lot of times eggs will float in clusters um, you know down through the water column and then salmon let them go you know you get one or they'll give you three four five together a little clump of them you know and they're just floating along and that's all you're that's all you're doing there so uh, if you tie and there's an easy easy tie for you easy salmon fly um, look us up on instagram and give us a follow there also on facebook like our facebook page and then also the youtube channel here that you're watching uh, please subscribe to that if we could uh, tie these for you maybe you don't tie uh, you can look these up on our website at myersflies.com and then um, you know also if you have any questions just email us uh, be glad to answer any questions uh, but spend some time out there enjoying god's great creation and uh, man catch some of them fish and nothing nothing cooler than catching a fish on you know something you tied yourself and uh, that's always that's always awesome so uh, uh, so anyhow uh, check back and uh, maybe we'll do some more egg patterns uh, I've got an egg sucking leech uh, that I do uh, as well but most of the time you know on those salmon runs uh, I'm fishing egg patterns and I'll swing some streamers and things of that nature uh, but a lot of egg patterns and uh, just make sure you got a heavy hook okay make sure you you got a, a, a hook that's rated uh, for your salmon uh, I know you're thinking, well, I'm going to target the brown trout. Now, I can catch a big 20-inch brown trout on that. Well, you can, but, you know, a lake-run brown trout uh, and, a, a, you know, a brown trout that you catch in a creek, obviously there's going to be a size difference, but them things are powerful. And I'll tell you, I've had some really good hooks that have straightened out. And so you need to get something that's rated you know that's rated for those those bigger fish you don't want to spend all that time to go and and then have something like that happen when you can just take care of that now while you're tying so uh so anyhow i hope it's been a help to you god bless thanks for watching